I'm Graciela Perez Rodriguez. I'm a mother of um, Milinali Piña Perez, who disappeared in Tamaulipas, Mexico. In August 10, 2012, uh, my my oldest brother my mo is my mother first son. Uh, she, he needed he needed to go to the United States for some tools for uh, for his work and just it it was it was just for four days because it it was too close to the start to the school and he asked asked us to my sister and my mother and me if if uh, my our our sons and daughter can go with with him they they went to that day in 10 August and they come back on 14 mm, just that days when they are um, they are driving to Tama cross cross the border to United States and Mexico. They they enter uh, the the unit enter close to our home is from is over Tamaulipas, and they drive and they they we are talking for. Uh, every hour or every time in the in the way with my with my brother and just two hours from that we we know we we knew that at that at they they can arrive at eight eight thirty in that uh, 14 I was 14 and uh, we are waiting in our parents the but they never arrive we we ask us our my my sister and my other brother and my parents all all the time think uh, who who speak with my oldest brother the last time and the last time was like a, um, seis y media de la tarde 16.30 p.m. And nobody answered the cell phones. The five had cell phones, and nobody answered. And we start to call the police station, the hospitals. Something, something was was happening, and. They just disappear. Nobody saw nothing. Nobody knew nothing. And and in that time, we start with a search, knowing what what was happening in Tamaulipas, because. We didn't understand how can disappear a vehicle with five people inside. Mm. The next day, 
my the husband of my sister and and the biggest uh, son of my oldest brother Ignacio and they they went to Ciudad Mante Tamaulipas like at five five o'clock in the morning it's two two hours from our home two hours and a half and um, they put the la denuncia for the disappear then they start all the the things the legal things that disappearance it it doesn't it doesn't call appear in the file because it doesn't legal and they put um, privación ilegal de la libertad eh, con modalidad de secuestro <laughs> pero that they just told us don't do anything the ministerio público when when my my family w went to the put the denuncia and they they say don't do anything don't uh be able to telephone because somebody call called you to to ask for money and never happened nine days after with my broken soul I just start to go to Tamaulipas because all my family was broken and they were they were afraid for us for the los que quedábamos en casa and that was the best thing because I was living just with my daughter and yo no tengo nada que perder 